Okay, dear students, in this video, I will show you how to make this uh, this object here on the right. Okay, let's first start to make the circles here. So click the circle command. As usual, I encourage you to read the command window, command line window. Okay. This uh, press circle command and the ribbon, or you can say circle tool. Uh, read uh, specify center point, specify center point. So don't worry, just uh, locate or uh, put the center point around here. Don't worry about the location. You can move it later on using the move command here. And uh, again, read specify radius of circle. So I will start from the inside or from the smaller circle, which is this one, it has, which is that one. It has radius of 10. If the diameter is 20, the radius is 10. I just type 10 like that. And then again, click circle, circle tool. And uh, make sure that the green light on the center appears before you click. This green light, as I've mentioned last week, it is the, the object snap. It will catch or it will uh, locate exactly the point that you need. In this case, the center. So the object snap is here. This symbol. You turn it off, you turn it on, and uh, if you see the checked, the check items are those which are turned on, like this one, center is turned on. Make sure the green light appears. Click. And then let's see what's the radius. For the bigger circle, it is 20. This one. 20. There. Now you have made the, the first circle. Now we would like to make the circle here at this location. The center is, is that. This is the center. Uh, there are many ways to, to, to obtain this center. Uh, in this video, I'll just show you by using a, a helping line that we will delete later, later on. We will see how we will uh, do other method next time or in other video So I will just use a helping line uh, click line click line there and then uh, Click the center make sure the center object snap appears which is this circ uh, circular Or, or a green circle There. This is the first point of the line, and the second point of the line will be will be located there. Should be located at this point. So if you see the distance from here to there is from the center to that center horizontally is eighty, and from the center to that center vertically is is 10 and it's because uh, 
the radius of this one is 30 the radius of this one is 20 so 30 minus 20 it is 10 here okay so as, as I mentioned before if you want to refer the next point coordinates uh, if you want to make the next point coordinates based on the first point you need to put uh, a so this is like a relative point relative coordinate relative to the first uh, point so that means if this will be the uh, x direction is 80 comma 10 so you'll get uh, the, the the this is this will be the, the center of your of your next circle when you are done you can press enter or escape next uh, let us make the circles here so you have one circle the full circle and the quarter circle there so click circle command okay again click circle command and then choose the end point of this line okay, make sure the green light showing the object snap is active is turned on okay, uh, click there and then again read the the command line window what's written there it says specify radius of of circle and see what's the radius of this circle let's start again from the uh, the smaller circle so the smaller circle yeah this one that one the radius is 40 sorry the diameter is 40 so the radius is 20 of course if you want you can change the the input method instead of radius you can change the diameter by clicking this Okay, so you want the diameter to be 40, okay. type 40 and enter. Okay. Now you have the already the smaller circle and let's make the, the larger circle which has radius of, of 30. Again, go to the circle uh, two click you can go to the center you can either catch the either make the end point of this line or either choose the end point of this line or the center of this circle okay it's up to you because both of them are coincident to each other so what's the radius it was if you look at it again it was there 30 so just type 30 so the radius is radius is required so type 30 there Yeah, this is the helping line you can delete this when you're done okay. uh, the next thing is we are going to make the circles on the on, uh, on the top of the object so there again there are two circles there the smaller circles the smaller circle with with a diameter of 20 meaning the diameter is 10 oh sorry the radius is 10 and uh, the bigger circle has radius of of 20 and the location the location if you look at it it is it's clear it is 70 unit 70 units vertically uh, how about the horizontal distance from this center to that center horizontally it will be if you look at it it will be 10 because 
the radius from here to here is is 30 and from here to here is is 20 so 30 minus 20 is is 10 okay so again I will just use a helping line create a line catch the center of this uh, circle as the first point of the line and then the, the next point again you will use add command and horizontally to the right 10 comma vertically upward 70 there so this is the center of your of your circle okay if you want to make sure if whether this is correct or not you just double click and uh, uh, sorry maybe not double click uh, right click properties okay now you can see in the so this is the properties of the line you can go to the very bot bottom of this uh, window you can see the delta x is 10 the delta y is 70 which means we have uh, a correct line okay again click circle choose this as the center point the end point of this line will be the center point of your circle and uh, let's see what is the radius because in this case radius is required radius is required so the radius again from this for the smaller circle the radius will be 10 if you see the, the, the diameter is 20 so the radius is 10 so I will just type a radius 10 enter uh, by the way uh, to if you are going to do the same command or the same tool actually you don't need to uh, click that tool again again and again just you can just press enter directly so okay, you just you can just press enter directly if you see in the command line window or yeah you see there it's it's, it's written circle command okay so uh, enter directly means you are repeating the the previous tool so again choose this as the center point of the circle and uh, the diameter or the radius sorry if you see that the radius is 20 so just input 20 there okay now you can delete the helping line because you don't need that so basically we have finished uh, drawing all of the circles here of course we will need to trim some of them later on after we we finalize with making the the edges okay, this vertical line this horizontal line and it remains another circle that I will show how to make it later okay let's first make the the vertical line you can use a uh, line command and, and make make sure make sure that you turn on the tangent object snap just this tangent means it touches uh, uh, the, something touches something exactly at one point okay so uh, you can see it there in the in the symbol a line touching at one point a circle 
Okay, let's turn that on. Okay, and uh, click line. So you go from the, the quadrant. So again, this is one, one of the object snap uh, item. You can find it there in the in the in this menu. And this is a pop-up menu here. Here, quadrant. Okay. And just go there to there. Yeah, I, uh, since this is, uh, uh, you can say, collinear, these two points are collinear. The quadrant is, is collinear, so you don't need to use tangent in this case. You can just uh, pick between quadrant to quadrant. Okay. Of course, for example, if I delete this, and if I turn on, or sorry, turn off the quadrant, uh, the, the quadrant object snap, you will rely on this, the tangent. So I click the this command or this tool, line tool, and uh, Yeah, if this bothers you, sometimes another object snap that we don't want appears. So you can turn that off. Okay. So there, this is the tangent. You can ju just click anywhere here, and then again anywhere there. Okay. If you put it like that, it'll automatically uh, make it tangent. Now it's not tangent, but because the object, the tangent object snap is turned on, so it will aut automatically make your line tangent to this circle. There. When you're done, press escape. Same thing. Again, you can use quadrant. You can turn on the quadrant object snap, or you can use the tangent object snap in, in our case. So now it remains to make the 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 large circle there, a large circle here, which has a radius of eighty. If you see, this is this circle is tangent to the other two circles, which is this circle. You see there, if you imagine it. We imagine it here so this is a circle so this circle tangent to that circle and this circle also tangent to this big circle tangent also to uh, this circle on the on the bottom okay so to have a circle tangent to other two circles or two tangent to other two objects you can use something called uh, TTR an option inside the circle tool TTR means tangent tangent radius okay let me click the circle command now you see there is this option, the TTR. Okay, instead of specifying the center point, you will just uh, click this one, TTR. So it will ask you the two objects you need, uh, you want to be tangent to, and the radius of the of the circle that you are going to make. So let us just click this. Uh, it's automatically find or automatically turn on the tangent uh, object snap. So this menu or this option will automatically do this. Even though, see, even though if I turn off this, if I turn off this, 
this tangent object snap, I turn that off because you, we are using TTR. Okay. It will it will show specify point on the object for first tangent. Okay. So you just click uh, somewhere there. Just a moment, let me see. Oh, sorry. So I think, I think, yeah, we need to turn that on. To turn on the tangent. Okay. Because, yeah, it, it did not respond before. So let's see. Uh, specify point on object for first tangent of circle. So I want to make my circle tangent to the circle. Now it it responds what we have uh, chosen. See, it's now asking for the second tangent of circle. So this is the second tangent is here. And finally, it, it will ask you what the radius is. So the, the tangent of the first object, the tangent uh, of the second object, and the radius. So in this case, the radius is 80, just type 80. There. Okay. So basically your drawing is complete. You just need to, to trim. Okay. When you uh, just press escape, make sure that you, are, you have exited all two you have, you have exited exit from all tools and trim okay. you click trim in the newer version or the latest version which is version 2021 you can just uh, directly click what you want to delete okay. to delete this delete that and that also, you don't need this, right? You don't need this either. You don't need that. So, press enter or escape when you're done. Okay. And uh, you can move this to the uh, center or, or uh, approximately center. You just use move command here. Select objects. I will select objects using uh, box selection. Just click release at one point. Okay, that will be one of the corner of the box, and then uh, cover the whole thing because you are clicking from left to right, so you need to cover the whole thing, and then uh, click again at the other corner. If you see here the in the command line window, it's written uh, the AutoCAD has found nine objects chosen or selected. So it's still asking you select objects. That means it is AutoCAD asking you, do you want to add another objects? If you are not going to add anything, you are done with the selection, press enter. And uh, finally, it will ask you, uh, or next, I mean, next it will ask you to specify the base point. It's like where you want to hold the, the, the object to move around. I want to hold, you can hold it here. You can imagine that you are going to hold this object where with your finger okay. uh, I can hold it here I can hold it at the center it's up to you anywhere even you can hold it here for example I just hold it here and it will move it will be able to move and you can put somewhere on the on the center like that there 